everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here i appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to hit that bell button because then you'll be notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment because all of those things definitely help out my channel and i appreciate them all so so very much Today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. I have a feeling this is gonna be a two-parter. So I'm gonna call this my spring cleaning essentials or spring cleaning necessities haul because I have been collecting things that are gonna be used for organization and spring cleaning and all the things because it's that time of year for spring cleaning. And um, Easter baskets kept me so, so busy through March and April, no, it is April, through March, the end of February and March, that this stuff kind of kept getting put to the side until I was able to finally get it to share with you guys. So um, really, it's still kind of trickling into stores, so I don't think you're going to miss anything. I don't think that any of it is um, already done and gone. Like, it's stuff that's, like, still trickling into stores. Like, I'm still finding this stuff as of the last time I went shopping. So with all that, let's get started. Oh, and my Easter tree is still up. I hope everyone had an amazing, an amazing, amazing Easter. We had a good one. It was so much fun. I have got to decide if I'm keeping the tree up. And so um, I decided to keep Easter around just for like another extra week. So this week's of videos, this will be here next week. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be anything. It might be gone. I don't know yet. So um, we'll enjoy it for these last couple days because I really like that as my background. Um, so let's get started. Kind of, you know, organization related, cleaning related, I don't know, tissues. We needed some more tissues around the house. This box is my absolute favorite print that they sell there. I love it. You only get 54 tissues in this one because it is the um, triple soft. It's the one with the lotion. This one is the 64 box because it's not the extra soft. It's just everyday comfort. Um, but these two seem to kind of match my house the best. There's another one too that has like teal um, lines that go across it, but these were the two that I found. So I needed these. Um, I'm gonna need some more here soon too because it feels like all the tissue boxes run out at once. And so I need to go by and collect more for the other empty boxes now. Um, I picked this, another one of these up. This is the third one I've hauled. I keep hauling them at different times. I ordered magazines as a fundraiser from two different places um, and as a prize too somewhere. So I keep getting magazines. I don't read them to read them. I should read them more often, but I like to use them for vision boards and stuff and I just need a space to store them. And I needed one more of these bins for my magazines. So that's what I use these for. I have seen though someone else on some like different videos are putting them up this way and using them for water bottles. So before I put the magazines in them, I think I'm going to try that and see if it works. So I, I do on the back of my um, pantry door, it's the shoe organizer. And that's where the majority of our water bottles are. <clears throat> but I have a problem with cups. I have a problem. I have a problem with cups and water bottles. I like them a lot. And I have been passing that on to my children. So between the four of us, we have so many water bottles. And then my husband actually gets on, on this too because he really likes hydro flasks. So we have a handful of those too. We have too many water bottles and not enough that we all want to get rid of. So I'm going to try this out and see if this will help organize some of the stragglers that I am always like trying to find a spot for. And they just roll around on the shelf. Um, and I bought some things from Timu that will help organize too. But that was a lot of information for a magazine holder and i plan to try it or use it for sure for organizing magazines see if it'll work for water bottles if i buy more you know that it works and i'll tell you about it all right these i finally found these if you watched my timu haul on tuesday you saw that i did pick up some water or not water some shampoo bottles from them it came in a four pack they are about half the size because these are 1000 milliliters or one liter I believe those were 500 milliliter bottles so these are double the size what's really nice about that now because I have four of the smaller ones and four of the bigger ones is I can really figure out what the best size is for each person because I want to organize our showers and put names on these and um, have everyone have their own pump bottle and then that way I can look in and see who's running low and make sure that we have their shampoo, conditioner, body wash on hand. Currently, the boys all use like a three-in-one, and so they just need one bottle. Lorelai, on the other hand, uses a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, so she she's a little more extra. I get it, because I also use a shampoo, conditioner, body wash, hair mask, 
face face cleaner shaving like I have my own shower though so I did pick up four of these so here's the first two these have the white lid that they come on them and you do have to buy the pump separate so it does make it two dollars and fifty cents per bottle the Timu bottles were half the price but they're half the size so I guess that kind of evens out so you buy them separate um and I had a hard time actually finding these. I found this at one of my absolute favorite stores that I don't go to quite as often because it's a little further out, but I was really excited when I found them, so I picked them all up. So yeah, it has a tag on it, but you just swap out this for that and you're good to go. So this will be when I get up there and start organizing their bathrooms in a much better way. I can't wait to use those. So there's two and two. One more of these, the other one is in there somewhere. Another one of these, so I bought four sets. So I got four pumps and four bottles. So yeah, I think that that'll be great. And then talking about bathrooms, this I just found just the other day. Um, it is a sink drain plunger. Now we don't get a lot of clogs in the sink. It happens just really every so often, but I thought for those every so often times for $1.25 this little doodad would be great this looks like it's a name brand it's distributed by trend star corporation in fairfield new jersey it's got plungeroo is the brand name of it and so yeah i just thought this would be good to have on hand to have in case we have any issues with any of our sinks every so often our bathroom sink has a problem like but it's really every so often. It's not a ton. And I also buy the little teethy things that you stick in the drain to get the hair out because between now three of us in the house, because Braxton has a luxurious mullet, so he has longer hair. Lorelai and I both have hair. Um, you know, just hair gets into drains. Now these, I have been excited because they have been coming back more and more. And that's the essential, no, the storage essentials and their clear acrylic style of containers i really like their acrylic containers they have the drawers they have another one that i think is a three spot thing but a little bit bigger than this and then they just have their rectangle one that's i mean roughly the size of the two of these put together it's pretty small but they're still great i use my i have that up in my spice rack right now but this is the one that has three containers and a lid and i picked it up for like hair ties and stuff so I, every so often, will put my hair up and I'll use like the little teeny rubber bands. So that would go really good in here. Bobby pins um, and, you know, whatever else little I come up with. So that's what I picked these up for. And then I grabbed an extra in case I need another one too. Um, but right now, it's, that's the one. And then Lorelai also has a ton of hair stuff, my daughter. So between the two of us, I think it'll be good to have these to help organize our, our hair stuff. Um, and if I come up with any other ideas, batteries, I think would work really well in there, but my husband has a big battery storage. So if you don't have a big battery storage, I think batteries would work well in there. I'm trying to think what else I think would be real, real good. But I mean, if you have rubber bands of some sort, office stuff, rubber bands, tacks, maybe sticky notes, maybe that might be the right size for like extra sticky notes or staples, tacks, rubber bands. You know, like a little office stuff that would be really cute in there. And it has the lid to keep it all contained, which I think is awesome. So picked that up. I was excited to find things that are all connected. These in black. So I have picked up several in white. Um, so far, these are hung up in at least two of our kids' rooms. So Braxton has a set and Lorelai has a set. And they just like hang up their coats and backpacks and all the stuff on these to like organize them or the stuff that's like just too hard to like fit in the closet or get up and down and so they both utilize these I wanted to do one more in Braxton's room and we haven't done it yet for his hats and we talked about doing that for Lorelai because she has a collection of hats too she just never wears hers as much um so when we get in there because we're going to clean and organize their rooms for spring cleaning as well um and then whatever potentially they have that will work well on these shelves Braxton's I might switch out the white one to the black one because it just matches his decor better and then the white ones go better in Lorelai's room and Eric's can go either way because he kind of has all the different colors in his room so but black Braxton's everything is like a dark dark gray kind of color scheme so the blacks just seem like they'll work better 
but they also had them in like a chrome so like a silver like chrome color so they have brought those out in all kinds of different colors which is amazing and awesome um so much fun stuff in here and i've been waiting and waiting and waiting to haul it I dropped one of the shampoo bottles so i picked this up mostly because i don't know what it's for um this goes on the broom set so right now dollar tree has their different like broom essentials right so you can buy the broomstick then you could buy like there's my source have been having i think two different broom bottoms like the regular like kitchen broom and then the one that's like kind of in this square shape kind of push broom and then you can attach also on those like kind of a a Swiffer system like the flat thing that you attach the cloths to to like either dust mop your floors or to um, like Swiffer your floors and so I've been just using the bases of those like the cloths on my Swiffer and washing them and reusing them I love that but I picked this up because I found it was so interesting they literally just call it a rubber broom and it says on here squeegee spills effectively collects hair that's that's the two things so this has kind of like a squeegee on the one end and then it's a rubber broom on the other and i had intended on asking my husband what it's for but i have forgot so i picked up the rubber broom if you know what a rubber broom is for i would assume like maybe in my rug like you know you rub it through the rug to pull out any just like hair sitting on it maybe and then like if you have a bunch of water you just squeegee I don't know am I wrong am I right if you know what like you would use this or if you use this tell me because I really picked it out because I thought it was interesting they also have seen other people hauling the gray dust pans that go on the broomstick I check every time we still only have the blue dust pans I don't want the blue one I want the gray one because it matches better and it just looks nicer so I just keep watching for that gray dust pan to show up so that I could put it on the broomstick and have that nice tall um a dustpan but they have not come yet but this did and i found it to be really interesting that whole essentials line for like the broom system has been so neat it's been really fun to watch that grow and expand because there's so many neat things in that section and that's one of them too but i don't know what that is so this is home decor i don't know how it ended up in this bag but it did it's just a really cute little hello sign um, wires that are bent to say hello so I picked it up because I thought it was really cute I'm gonna put it out as some of my just regular decor I'm really bad about my regular day-to-day -day decor because I put it all away and just decorate seasonally so much um, my husband mentioned that we should probably work on having everyday decor up not just all my crazy shenanigans of seasonal decor we'll see we'll see where that goes but I thought this was super cute as just like a daily decor piece and so I picked that up a little bit different than cleaning and organizing but it ended up in here i picked this up i'm excited to go try it out in my car it's a cup organizer for the car i will say my car does not have quite enough i don't know space in the console i just drive a little chevy malibu and it's just i don't like my phone always ends up like in my door handle because there's not really a good place for it there's like this weird little cutout that like i guess it could go but it flies anytime i turn and so i thought maybe this would work you know to put in one of my cup holders and then i can do my phone in this and it would be a, like a better sitting spot for my phone so that's kind of what i was thinking and so i'm going to try it out and see if it fits well in my car or not it also might be a little bit too big for my car so I'm not sure but I was really excited to find it because I saw other people hauling it and I want to see if it's going to work well when I go pick up Braxton today I might try it out and see um I was interested to find these so these are fruit fly traps I picked up two of them because every so often we get fruit flies it's not all the time it just every so often you know they they make their way and um i thought this might be a neat way to try to catch them so this has two different options you can either do it to trap and release your fruit flies or you can do it to trap and kill your fruit flies it says for the trap and release function you're going to put a piece of fruit down there and then um you when you want to empty it you take it outside and you open it up and let the fruit flies go if you want to kill them you put something such as vinegar and a drop of dish soap down in the bottom and then they're going to be attracted to the vinegar and the dish soap is going to kill them i'm going to be honest the vinegar method will probably be what i use 
Um, I don't think fruit flies have a long lifespan anyway, so um, that's probably what I would do. But they're really cute too, if you look at the side of them. You know, you just gotta make sure that your kids don't think that it looks tasty and try to drink it. Um, I'll let them know what it is. I'm curious about the top. Let's open one up and look at it. So you just add fruit or vinegar and dish soap. So super easy to use. Okay, so there is a funnel. So there's a it's a double topper, really. So this is like the protective top, but then this is how you leave it open. And then the fruit flies will get in there, and it, I assume that they keep it really open like that for the smell. And then it's one of those funnels where like they can fly in really easily, but it's really hard to fly back out. And then that comes out, and you dump it. So really neat. Um, the brand name on this is PIC, P-I-C, Pest Free Living. And that is also in New Jersey, but made in China. So super neat to find that. We also get some other kind of little creepy crawly. They're not creepy, but this other kind of bug in our house. And I can't remember what it's called. They come every spring. We even get sprayed. And they're like, oh, yeah, we don't deal with those bugs. I'm like, well, great. So they just kind of in the springtime come in, and then they disappear again. And so I don't know, maybe this will, they look for moisture is what I, when I researched them. I can't remember what they're called though. I'd have to re look through all my notes and figure out what they're called. All right, more organization. I found these and I thought that they were super cute. This one is kind of in my life color scheme. This coral, not so much, but the size of these are awesome. So these are just listed as bins. They are green briar on the sticker. This one came with a four pack. This is a three pack. I wish I could find this shape in this color the coral, the little small shape in the teal green color, but um, I think these would be great in Lorelei's room, like on her vanity to help organize. She has little things, little things everywhere, and this might help her keep them all in their own little spots. So I'm going to see if maybe we can come up with some sort of system for her. And these also might fit like in like some of her drawers or nooks and can crannies in her room to help organize and her room is like on all these pretty girly colors. So I thought that those were a super neat find. All right, another thing that I was seeing several people haul and I was really excited to, excited to find it myself were these. So these are the Refresh Your Car. Older odor elimination activated charcoal pouch. So it naturally absorbs odors um this contains one pouch and um so i assume it doesn't have any smell i'm pretty sure i saw it from frugal j back when she hauled this initially yeah it says fragrance free she thought it was gonna have a smell she's like it doesn't but it's because it's like an odor soaker upper so like if your car kind of holds a smell which cars just tend to you stick one of these under your seat um, i assume that you could put it like in your laundry room or just really anywhere else that really just kind of can hold a smell to it under your cabinets in your bathrooms. Um, I'm not reading this, I'm coming up with it. What it says though is odor elimination technology um, reduces the perception of odor. So does that mean it's placebo? It reduces the perception. I perceive that it doesn't stink in here anymore. Um, charcoal is made with 100% bamboo, fragrance free, no added chemicals, hang anywhere to reduce odors. So it comes with a little hanging spot to it. So I only picked up two so far. I think I'll put one in my car. My car doesn't smell, but like, you know, like when you don't open the door for like a day and it's warm and it kind of gets that musky smell, it gets that. I mean, other than that, like, I don't think it really has any stench to it but if it even helps that then that would be cool so it looks like this it has a little snap button so that you can open it up loop it around whatever you want to loop it around I mean you can toss it under your seat you can loop it somewhere it doesn't look bad at all so like if you want it hanging where you can see it it's not gonna be it's it's not unpleasing to the eye it's very pleasing to the eye zero smell to it like at all it doesn't even smell like charcoal so yeah super neat find there that dollar tree has recently put out let's see so for the outside i found these guys um they are the lights solar stair light 
So what this shows is it's going down some stairs hung up like this. So the solar panels up here, that's going to click the light. This is going to shine down on your stairs. It does come with the hardware to hang it, which is not always like Dollar Tree. They don't always give you the hardware. Two little spots where you can like screw them into your stairs. Um, on the back, it also shows it on light posts. No, that would be a fence. A fence post as another option. Um, it says lasts up to eight hours. So I assume on a charge. Light lasts up to eight hours. Hopefully that's not in general in life, right? Because that would not last long. So you assume on a single charge, it should last up to eight hours. So it, only one 1.2 AAA rechargeable battery, which is included. Powerful solar panel recharges the battery during the day. There is an on off switch. It says do not place next to a wall, under a tree, or shelter that will block the solar panel from being charged. Smart. So then there's like the on and off back here, which I'll be honest, some of them have a hard time getting switched to on. Oh, I think there's a protector on it. So I switch it to on, so when I cover that, and it's literally been sitting in my house for quite a while, so it's just got a little bit of charge in there when I cover that up, so when it gets dark. so. And then it's got, like I said, it's got like this plastic piece, so it makes it really hard to do the on off switch. But I think that that like protects it from like people turning it off and on like in the store and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try those out. I think I only picked up three if I recall, cause I need to figure out where I want them first. Um, and if it's where I want them. Yeah, I mean, here is my other pump. I picked up three of these apparently. Which is funny, don't talk to my husband because he likes everything in um, even numbers. So when I pick things in odd numbers, it like gets the twitches from it. I think everything else, I'm going to wait until part two because I do not have enough time. I did pick up a fourth one. I do not have enough time to show it all in one haul. So I'm gonna do a part two of my spring cleaning slash organization stuff. There's also a few other items that I know are in some of my other bags I'm gonna go find so that I can share those too along with my part two. So I'm getting ready to spring clean. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to be a part of my life when I organize my pantry and fridge. That's coming up either later this week or next week when I'm gonna do it. So I can do it and I can record it and then I, I'll find a time to post it because that just kind of depends on you know posting schedules. Um, so if you wanna be a part of that, let me know. And then, so I plan to do the pantry and fridge. They need to be done so bad. Um, I plan to do the kids' rooms. We're gonna have garage sales. You were here for my vacation reveal, um, or at least talking about doing that for the kids. And um, yeah, we're gonna have garage sales to like help fund the vacation. So we're talking the kids into selling off some of their stuff and we're gonna give them the money to spend on vacation. It hopefully is an incentive for them to get rid of some stuff. Um, and so we're gonna be working on some deep cleaning of getting rid of stuff. So let me know if you wanna be a part of any of that kind of spring cleaning organization. I plan to do both of our bathrooms, the kitchen, go through and just purge, 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 and organize, organize, organize. So spring cleaning is here. It's getting ready to get going here. So come back for part two. I have some more amazing finds, some things that I was searching, searching, searching for, and then I finally found, I haven't found everything I'm searching for, but I found, found some stuff that I'm really excited about. So come back for that. And I can't wait until I see you guys next time. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.